If you're Calgarian, you realize the opportunity to explore and to be adventurous right here in our own backyard. Well, to help facilitate that side of adventure, if you will, is the AWA Executive Director, Chuck Lee, who joins us this morning. Hi, Chuck, how are you? Good morning. Uh, AWA stands for? Alberta White Water Association. It's been around for a while. Yeah, 50 years, almost 50 years now. Yeah, now I know that you and Alvin have been chatting here for a few minutes. You two actually, well, you've seen Alvin speak before. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. of course. Small number, world, isn't it? A number it? of conferences he's been out and yeah. I've seen him talk and, yeah. and perform the drums and yeah, it's been great. You know, one of the things we were talking we, oh, isn't he though? Uh, one of the things we were talking about as well too, about whitewater rafting or kayaking, you said that there's an actual device that you can they, they've come up with. Yeah, I, I don't know who the who the inventor is or even the company. We don't need to drop any names here, but yeah. they've they've come up with it's actually an inflatable kayak that has pedal wheels, mm -hmm. not like the paddle boats. That's that's a, a little more low low school. But mm -hmm. these high school thing, they're they're just amazing. They've got these little flippers on the back of the kayak that propel that it forward. Mm -hmm. And then I would probably want to have the outriggers because I I would not. I would not do well falling out and getting back into a kayak. Well, that's, I, yeah. that's what he would have to worry about, yeah. though, right, Chuck? I mean, yeah. what if he tips over to one side or tips over to the others? But yeah. still, you can still get out yeah, there and be Yeah, I got to check into that, though. I think the more, more important thing, and you guys are going to talk about this, though, is, is, is how incredible it is to be that close to the water. Yeah. That's, that's the cool yeah, thing. Yeah, it's, it's it? a really cool thing. To yeah. be that close to the water, to be almost you know, sort of in the water, you know, experience the water, being there, and the, the beautiful places you get to go to, oh. right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, you drive down the highway and you see you cross over the river. But what you get on the river is just such an intimate experience. Yeah, you are passionate about this sport. Have you been this passionate ever since you were a child? I started about 17, 18, and I've been doing it now for 40 years, 40 some years. Yeah. We, we here in Alberta have by far some of the best areas to do this sport. Oh, yeah. And it's in our, in our backyard. I mean, yeah. the Bow River here in town, you know, is basically flat water. And then you have the Harvey Passage, which was designed to sort of take the old dangerous weir mm -hmm. and convert it into something that we could actually sort of enjoy and have some fun at. Now, it got destroyed last year in the flood, but they're going to rebuild it, and we're going to have a new paddling center there, and it's going to be a great facility going forward. And when will that happen? Uh, they're going to be working on it this winter time. And oh, we're no hoping kidding. that by 2015, I guess, summer 2015, that that will be done, ready to go. We'll be back into it. One thing, Chuck, you do as well, too, you design courses. Yeah, we've been lucky. I, I, I had a friend back in the 1980s. He had been around the world, had seen some of the stuff that had been going on. He came back to Alberta and said, we've got to do that here. You know, we've got to do that, and I've got the perfect place at the Kananaskis. And Bob Smith was instrumental in starting that process, building the Kananaskis. And for 30 years, we've gone in every four or five years, we've gone in and made some modifications, yeah, improved tweaked it, it yeah. tweaked it. The river turns off, the river turns on. So when the river turns off, we're able to take the heavy machinery in and oh, it's fascinating. manipulate the rocks, put new rocks in. Lafarge has been great. Mm -hmm. Lafarge Canada has donated rocks, hundreds of thousands of dollars of rocks to us to put into the river and to stack in places so that we can create waves and we can create uh, eddies and we can create this, um, this rapid. Right. Yeah. There's a new generation of kayakers as well too. I know my kids, they go to school and they have a session where they actually go in the pool. Now it's nothing as crazy as what we just saw a few moments ago, <laughs> but they get a chance to experience this. That is pro probably part of the motivation for AWA to make sure that we get the youth of Calgary, the youth of Alberta, out there and experiencing this as well firsthand. We want kids to get this in, uh, this ability to start to develop their physical literacy. They talk about run, jump, throw, kick before the age of five or six, right? right? And then ski, skate, board, and boat before the age of 10. So we want kids to develop this ability to understand how to propel a boat, how to balance a boat, how to then steer a boat. Right? So we want that, that ability for young children mm -hmm. in grades five, six, to get into the pool, learn how to kayak. The basics. The basics. Yeah. And that transfers over to a rowboat. It transfers over to a shell. It transfers to a canoe or a stand-up paddleboard in the future. Alberta Cup. Now, this is supposed to be Alberta Cup 6 that was supposed to be held this weekend, but there's been some delays. Yeah, we put that on the schedule last winter, hoping that we would have a site here in Calgary ready to go. And uh, unfortunately, we just don't have the, you know, we haven't been able to get that site up and running at Harvey Passage yet. Right. So we have no place to host it here in Calgary. And we've had some great events in the past, 
and we just started into that whole series of uh, har using Harvey Passage when it got blown up by the flood. So we're hopeful by next year we'll have that back on track. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Okay, well, this is the guy that you need to talk to if you'd like to find out more information about this. www.albertawhitewater.ca. Chuck Lee, thank you very much for coming in. Can't wait to go out uh, out there with you, man. One day we got to do it together. Come on. Let's do it. We'll bring Alvin with us. <laughs> yeah, okay. You can bring you can his new unit. Behind. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, coming up. We have from laughing stock to success, a winery that started, well, the idea started here in Calgary. More on that. First, here's what's happening in and around our city. This is trending on Shaw.